look, it's a 1920s air conditioner. Hello. I'm coming to you live from my Sarantoon garage casting couch. That's right, I have a casting couch in my garage. <laughs> anyway, we're on Project Sir Codsworth today, my SVT Focus rally project. All you new folk, link up above. We'll take you to the last video where we worked on that car. All right, this thing's gotta get in the garage. I gotta push it. That was hot. It's really hot. This is going through the firewall. I'm gonna drill a hole. So you can't access the firewall from underneath the car. It's completely blocked from the subframe. I gotta do it all from the top. This stuff can go. It's a race car, I don't need it. Boom. Wow, that floor looks good underneath there. Look at the back side of that. No wonder it stunk in this car. There I go. See it right down there? Just above the plastic cover for the steering column. So that's exactly where I want it. I forgot I have this thing, the stepper bit. There it is, comes out right above where the uh, steering column goes into the steering rack. Good morning. Why do I do this now with my hand in my videos? I don't know. It's the next morning. I'm taking the GoPro with me today. I got some errands to run. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the MR2 registered and I gotta go get a circuit breaker because I forgot last night when I went to the auto parts store. I totally forgot the main thing I needed to get. I just got the MR2 registered. It's legit now, no more temporary registration. It's good to go. I'm so happy, now I can start driving this thing. All right, auto parts store and then uh, get back to the garage. It's a brutal one today. It's a temperature, it's 94 right now and it's 11 a.m. Yes, I changed my shirt because I don't want to get that outfit dirty. And I got a different switch, listen to your feedback. This one interrupts the ignition, so. Good to go. Cue the time lapse, because it's time for your girl to put in some electrical work. This wire right here has a case of the creepy green death. That stuff right there is the reason why the previous two owners of the MR2 before me could never get it to run, because it had creepy green death on like eight different wires for the fuel system on there. Like any good archeologist, I just did a couple core samples on this wire that goes to my starter. And as you can see right here, creepy green death. You go back an inch or two, nice fresh copper. If I would've had to go back any further on that wire, I would just replace the entire thing, but it looks fresh just an inch or two back and that will still work for me, so yay. All the positive cables are connected. That's only temporary. I'm going to replace it after I get all this set up and make sure it all works. But uh, leave some comments in the comment section below for any suggestions of a weatherproof union or terminal point that I can use for these positive cables. Y'all are nerds. My friend of the tech nerd. <laughs> what? I called you a nerd. My friend of the technical sergeant persuasion just stopped by and. He's supervising, we'll like, cut it. Oh my God, this is hard to cut. Oh sh. Oh, I can't cut it. I need strength. I don't even know if you can cut that. Your arm's as big as my thigh, so you might be able to. Yeah. Cut it. Cut oh it, cut it, cut it. How about we that cable, way too thick, you need to cut it. I swear. <laughs> By the moon and the stars. Sky. Is this all for one or is this the country? And right? I swear. Hey, it's cut. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> That's I, Every once in a while I gotta invite some muscle over when I got stuff that needs to be cut. Okay, so now, now that I got this cut, oh damn. 
I just realized I used all of my terminal lugs under the hood of the car. This is now my third trip to the auto parts store in 24 hours, like my nails. Gold. And that bag right there is 10 pounds of dry ice to break up the sound deadening material throughout the chassis of the car. I'm gonna finish routing all these wires and get ready for the breaker and the kill switch. So cue that time lapse. joke trying to crimp and cut this two gauge wire. This stuff is crazy. Ooh, release. Release the Kraken. Alright, now I can just mock this. Uh oh, I gotta heat shrink it. Alright, so I think I can try to start the car now. I have everything but the breaker and the ignition kill part wired up. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. I don't know where the keys are at though. Keys. Ground wire to the battery is bolted in where the rear seat bolted to the frame of the car. Let's see. Okay, no sparks. Kill switch is in the on position. Oh, there goes my wipers. Looks like everything works. Let's see if this car starts. Here goes nothing. All right, cool, so everything's wired up correctly. You guys know I wasn't gonna leave this thing dirty when I put it back in the car. That's not my style. And I am putting the battery shut off switch right here in the center console. Don't worry, I'm not racing this car in the World Rally Championship. It'll be fine right here where it's at. That'll work right there. I am not leaving that wire like that. I have an AGM battery and a mount that will be here Monday. So that's gonna get reworked. All right. Dry ice. I don't think I have 10 pounds anymore. I think I lost them. accidentally touch it I thought it was gonna burn you but it's like if you grab onto it and hold it yeah it'll hurt you all right that's crazy look it's a 1920s air conditioner Crushing it up definitely helps, but it also doesn't make it last as long. So it's kind of like a win-lose situation. I have to get like 20 more pounds of this stuff. With it being 90 something degrees in my garage, even if it's cooler going, this stuff's just evaporating faster than I can use it. So that 10 pounds was enough to knock out the passenger side of the car. Now I have this going on. This stuff's actually kind of heavy. This is a weight reduction for sure. 
I wish all the pieces came out this big. This is a huge chunk. That's such a weird color underneath the sound editing material. It's like a silver, pearl, olive green, gray, brown something. No more dry ice. I'm waiting on the AGM battery. My friend that came by earlier in the video, he just bought a car off Craigslist and he's doing the motor mounts on it today. I got a floor jack loaded up in the back of Forrester Gump and a Ross Tech BCDS in the passenger seat because Audi life. Oh, I thought he was doing motor mounts on the Audi. He's doing motor mounts on the Civic. So how much did you pay for this thing? 2250 2200 And it's a V8. I can't believe you got this for $2,200. This thing's actually really nice. There's like no paint fade on it or nothing. It's in really good shape for $2,200. So he bought this uh, Audi A6 V8 off Craigslist and it has a random issue with the transmission. Just like sporadically, it'll start like sputtering. So I'm gonna hook this up and see if I can find any codes that it's causing on the Ross Tech. It's a 05 Audi A6. How do you always find these crazy cheap cars on Craigslist like this? You go on Craigslist you, Do you go on dates off of girls from Craigslist? No, I'm I, not bad. I heard that's not a good thing to do. Let's see if you got any codes. Yeah, I'm surprised that that Honda is that hard to work on. It's a Honda, but then again, it's a hybrid. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can't do this. Because your car is a 05 or newer, so it's CAN bus. Sorry, I tried. I think the problem is it's a hybrid. <laughs> what happened? Why is this all peeling right here? All of it's like that. Really? Yeah. Plasti dip it. What is the integrated motor? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a broken is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's called IMA, first of all. It says... I'm a broken. Hey, shut up, Sarah. Let me get my shovel out. This, this is how bad it was. I had to try to get a shovel. Oh, well, you got the bolt. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I see what you did. So those two bolts right there go to his rear motor mount. And you can see there's a big gap at the tip of my finger right here. He has to, ooh, it's closing. Okay, you do that. I'll try to thread this bolt in there, okay? Oh, you got one bolt already in there. You called me ugly. I said, you're hungry. That's what I said. And then you took my shoe, like wearing a hood. And now you're trying to take the other one so you can throw it on the light pole. That's what you get. It's on top of your car. Just like gonna snatch no shoe off of me like that. So guess who got his motor mount bolts in? Who? The girl holding the camera got your motor mount bolts in. Yeah, you did. Yep. Mobile mechanic Sarah went for the goal and she got it. I found your shoe. Oh, thanks, Sarah. I seem to have misplaced it. This is probably one of my more random all over the place videos I've had in a while on my channel, but sometimes it's just needed. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what do you want to see? Do you want to see MR2 content or do you want to see more focus content in the next video? I have parts for the MR2 and I'm going to have parts for the focus. So, you let me know, and that's what we'll do next. And today's the first day of summer. Well, the day I'm filming this. So, happy summer. Is that a thing? Do you really say happy summer to people? Anyway, happy summer. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye. This cable, way too long. I need to cut it.